for anyone watching my channel this year, you've probably noticed how many uh, videos have been about grasshoppers and the destruction they've caused. One thing that's been missing from my garden are flowers. Flowers help to bring in pollinators, which are important for any garden, but they also help to repel pests, such as grasshoppers. So I went by Lowe's and Walmart this morning and picked up a few cheap perennial flowering plants. Here I've got a autumn sage, blue salvia, lantana, another salvia, it's the coneflower, black-eyed Susan, this is a butterfly bush, an aster, society garlic, balloon flower and this one really isn't much of a flowering plant it does get little red flowers but this is a dwarf pomegranate i just saw it was loaded with pomegranates already so i thought i'd add that to the garden as well these don't get very tall also picked up some bulbs which are good for planting in the fall and they'll pop up in the spring got tulip iris this is a full sun to part shade, bearded iris, crocus, and allium. So I'll work on getting these planted this morning. I'll just kind of spread them out in my garden as best I can, and then I'll continue to add these over time. Now all these were really cheap plants. They were all under 10 bucks each, except for the uh, pomegranate but you know it all adds up i think this was about a hundred dollars worth of plants our first frost last year was mid-october i think so that's only about a month away so i don't want to add too many plants close to that date because i want them to get kind of established before that first frost gets here okay i got all those planted even though they were small plants it took forever to plant them it felt like at least two or three hours for documentation purposes i'll go ahead and show where i planted all those in my five tree hool pits. I've got four here and one over there. I planted all the bulbs. This hugel tree pit, I planted a coneflower and the butterfly bush. This tree hugel pit, I planted the black-eyed Susan and one of the salvias. On my old hugel X mound, I planted the aster. Here along my first garden swell, I've got the balloon flower, the autumn sage, and the lantana. On the second swell, I planted the society garlic, and then where I removed the uh, swell berm last weekend, I planted one of the salvias and the pomegranate here at the end. Also put hay mulch around all these plants. Last year I planted several things by seed, but not many of those came up. Here is a lavender that I planted. It's the only thing that's really doing well. Last weekend I scattered wildflower seeds all throughout this old swell berm here. The very next day there was like a billion harvester ants carrying the seeds off towards their mound way over there. So I don't know how many of those are actually going to come up. I may have to wait to plant the wildflower seeds until after the harvester ants have hibernated for the winter. After spreading these perennial flowers throughout the garden, I can tell that I need to plant a whole lot more to fill in all the gaps. And over time, as the plants get larger, the gaps will get smaller, and hopefully the defenses will get stronger, and maybe eventually the pests will slow down. I'm not 100% sure that all of these perennial flowers will do well in this area. The ones that do well, I'll definitely buy more of those. Thanks for watching.